coming to the quarter structure beautiful colorful example uh, this one okay so green color purple pink orange that means quarter structure has been performed i mean like uh, uh, taken by the proteins which are having more than one polypeptide that means quaternary structure exhibiting proteins they do carry more than one polypeptide so majority of the proteins which are composed of single polypeptide and uh, some proteins they do carry more than two polypeptides which are identical or unidentical okay so such proteins termed as oligomers okay and all these oligomers contributes quaternary structure so this is a main uh, example uh, so the individual polypeptide chains known as monomers or protomers or subunits okay all these monomers combine together to form a quaternary structure and a dimer consists of a two polypeptide chains okay and tetramer is having four okay and the classical example i can give for uh, quaternary structure is hemoglobin okay hemoglobin is made up of two alpha uh, two alpha unit and two beta chains two alpha chain and two beta chain so it is a having two alpha chain and two beta units and ldh okay ldh is an uh, enzyme okay cardiac marker okay lactate dehydrogenase it's a cardiac marker which is also a uh, which is also it's an enzyme actually which is uh, having quaternary structure so we are all aware all enzymes are protein in nature right so bonds which are responsible for protein structures covalent bonds are there non covalent bonds are there okay so methods to determine the protein structure okay x ray crystallography okay what are the methods to determine the protein structure okay these are the uh, methods like uh, x ray x ray crystallography and other method is nuclear magnetic resonance so nowadays in newspapers we are seeing most of the honey producers in indian market okay all are like adulterated with the maple syrup okay so uh, how to identify this adulteration there is a test called nuclear magnetic resonance so if any honey is passing this nuclear magnetic resonance that is pure okay honey right so this is the main uh, test okay for checking the purity of the particular honey so honey is also containing few proteins right so the spectra of proteins that means particular amino acids like um, arginine lysine what they do they absorb some ultraviolet rays so based on that principle okay we can uh, know the composition of particular amino acid so methods and uh, which are useful in isolation and purification of proteins which are proteins which are fractionated by using different concentration of uh, uh, ammonium sulfate or sodium sulfate proteins fractionations which all be carried out by uh, using ultra centrifugation okay immuno electrophoresis ion exchange chromatography gel filtration so all these are the methods okay which useful in isolation and purification of proteins okay if i want to separate like uh, immunoglobulins okay there also can be separated by using which method immuno electrophoresis okay electrophoresis if i want to separate uh, albumin okay electrophoresis i can use okay and ion exchange chromatography different uh, proteins weigh in different way okay that means one protein is weigh, uh, weighing uh, some amount and other protein is uh, weighing some amount okay so based on the weight molecular weight they are also can be separated okay